Hello. Hello. So this example here, we got a four meter long piece of wire. And with that wire, we're going to cut a square and a circle. So let's pretend this is my wire here. Start with pictures. Start with pictures. And I know that it's four meters whoop, all the way here. And then I'm going to have to cut this somewhere. So let's say I cut it here. And then I'm going to go and build myself a square. Let me see if I can find my square tool. A square and find myself a circle Ooh. from those four meters. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the idea that I have. So I don't, and I wanna know like how much wire should be used to have in the square. I don't need to know where it's gonna be cut basically. So if I call this X, then I know this is four minus X. Mm -hmm. And if this is, if I can just take this part to make it part of the square, I know this is going to be x over 4, x over 4, x over 4, x over 4, go around. It's a square, yes, yeah, so it's we're going square. to have equal sides. And then uh, this circumference all the way around must be 4 minus x. Right. So the 2 pi r must be 4 minus x. And we want to know how much wire should be in the square. So we're looking for x, a right? Maximum combined area. Mm -hmm. So the area combined, well, the area of the square I know is, uh, well, the area of the square in this case will specifically be x over 4 squared, with length times width. The area of the circle is pi r squared. I see a problem here. We have two variables, and we need to have it in terms of x. Right. So, in order to solve for r here, let's take this relationship between circumference and 4 minus x. And I know r is going to be 4 minus x over 2 pi. That's what we're going to plug into our equation. So area is now going to be a function of just pure x. And I get x squared over 16 mm -hmm. plus pi and then 4 minus x over 2 pi squared, because that's the r squared. Now, it's if we want to find a maximum, we have to take the derivative. If we think about this, is it going to be easier to simplify first, multiply also, and then take the derivative, or the other way around? Think, no, uh, I'm thinking uh, if we can get rid of that 2 pi in there. Yeah, the pi. that's what I was thinking too. So we'll keep that this. This square works for both, so it's pi, and so this is 4 minus x squared, and 2 pi all squared, which I know that's going to be 4 pi squared. 4 pi squared. Let's cancel out these pi's. One of these with that one. And so I get x squared over 16 plus 4 minus x quantity squared over 4. Maybe we just take the 4 pi. 4 pi, thank you. Maybe we just take the derivative. Yeah, let's just take the derivative. So um, a lot of you are getting really confused when you're seeing pi, especially in the denominator. That is not the quotient rule. 4 pi is just a number, right? Right, it is just a number. So the way you can think about this maybe is 1 fourth pi times... 4 minus x squared. Right. This is the same thing. Right. So the 2 comes down, so it's 2 over 4 pi times 4 minus x to the power of 1. Chain rule times the inside derivative, negative 1. Do a little simplifying first. That becomes 2. And that becomes 8. And so I have x over 8 plus, minus. minus, thank you, minus 1 over 2 pi, 4 minus x. If I want a maximum, I set this thing equal to 0. Right, and that's a step that also has to be shown when you're doing an IB exam. Right, you have to... You have to show that it's equal to 0. Right, so this is an important... That's a really here. important method point. Yep. All right, so now solving this thing... Oh, let's multiply everything by 8 pi, since that is what the common denominator would be. Mm -hmm. If I multiply everything by 8 pi, I get x pi 
minus 4, 4 minus x is 0. And x pi minus 16 plus 4x equals 0. And if I pull my x's together, uh, x pi plus 4x equals 16. Factor out the x, pi plus 4 equals 16. Divide by the pi plus 4. And this is going to produce a maximum. Find the maximum combined area. Good enough for, for there? Or do we have to show it? We want to show it or we assume it's true? Um, I've been telling him not to assume it's true, but um, okay. I think for the purposes of this problem, we can just go on. Okay. Like, move on to the next one or go yeah, on from here? Yeah, move to the next one. Okay. If you want to show it's true, you do that. Yeah. You do your sign chart. And sometimes when I'm rushed for time, I just pretend I know what the answer is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Test-taking strategies. Test-taking strategies, exactly.